now the latest on October 19th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Three cyclones are active around the world today near Guri, Nestor and Octave. You'll notice we're running with subtropical storm status on Nestor given its current appearance on satellite. Day 292 of the world so far, 75 storms have formed around the world so far this year. Day 140 in the Atlantic, Nestor is headed towards the US Gulf Coast, tropical storm warnings in effect. Tropical storm Octave, active in the eastern Pacific, tiny system likely to weaken very soon on day 157. And in the western Pacific, Neoguri, stronger today and two invests still active either side of it. 97A in the Indian Ocean and no systems are active in the southern hemisphere it's all quiet here so we've gone with subtropical storm status for Nestor 60 mile per hour winds an estimated pressure of 996 millibars the uh, convection on the eastern side of the storm it will continue to acquire uh, more subtropical characteristics and extra tropical characteristics, characteristics later on as it moves through the US towards the northeast, turning post-tropical along the east coast and then moving on out to sea. Um, its track, if you are curious, beyond three days is pretty uncertain, so there is uh, not much movement on that there um, because of that uncertainty. Well, we're watching all day waiting for the center of circulation to become more apparent. We've really only just been able to call this a subtropical cyclone at this point. The National Hurricane Center pulled the trigger around six hours prior to the update. Uh, but there has been the storm's appearance. High wind shear, 25 to 30 knots convection blown over on the eastern side. This is a North Atlantic wide shot, so you can see the system becoming increasingly dominant. A disturbance also in the eastern Caribbean Sea by the looks of things, which has waned really a lot today. Um, and out over the, the eastern Atlantic, uh, dry air and Saharan dust now dominating. There is a close-up of the Gulf of Mexico. You can see how that rotation has been increasing throughout the day uh, in Nestor. The East Pacific, see if you can spot Octave. It is there, it's near, near the center of your screen. A very small system, winds extending out only up to about 20 nautical miles in all directions at most. Tiny system out there in the Eastern Pacific, not likely to move very much over the next few days. Will be stalling and dying pretty much in the same place. Central Pacific's quiet. Western Pacific, uh, we've got Neoguri, which is looking pretty good. And also 97W, which I would say is looking very good as well, uh, could become a tropical cyclone pretty soon. Latest HWRF calls for it to become a mid-range tropical storm. Neoguri not too far from influencing the islands, uh, the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. Okinawa there just about on the edge of its band. The Australia and South Pacific region is rather quiet today actually. A few flare-ups along uh, the Solomon Islands up towards Papua New Guinea. The Indian Ocean, you, well, can't really fully make out where exactly this, this invest would be centered, but the whole region off the west coast of India looking rather unsettled, and we could still see one or even two cyclones pop out of that energy in the next week or two. The uh, sea surface temperatures then were octave is uh, around 26 to 28 degrees Celsius, up to 30 off the west coast of Mexico. Gulf of Mexico, 28 degrees, um, and in the Caribbean Sea, up to 30 off the, the uh, Greater Antilles. Looking towards the Indian Ocean, the Arabian Sea, where that development could happen, 28 to 30 degrees as well. Warmer in the Bay of Bengal, and over in the Western Pacific, the Philippine Sea, the warmest point, where Neoguri is, temperatures starting to up well a little bit, down to about 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, also, where 97W is very warm there too. This is Tropical Storm Neoguri. It's been looking very good. Certainly, it's been outperforming the forecasts from the uh, authorities. The JTWC just two days ago only wanted a tropical depression. Now it is a, at least at least a mid-range tropical storm, and maybe getting on towards high-range tropical storm status. If it continues in this vein, there will come a point where it will start to weaken, and it could happen quite catastrophically for the storm. And this is how Nestor is looking. Again, we are running with the subtropical tag on this. 
mainly due to its large open circulation almost and the western side looking very devoid of any activity and still potentially partly frontal in its nature too but the eastern side blowing up huge amounts of tropical moisture and convection which will be uh, unleashing itself on Florida very soon indeed so we could be looking at significant rainfall totals especially on the Florida Peninsula up towards the Panhandle maybe not quite as much but maybe stronger winds so this is where we're at right now the next name on the Atlantic naming list is Olga in the Eastern Pacific it's Priscilla in the Central Pacific the next name is Hone and of course we've had 75 storms so far this year in the Western Pacific, the next name on the list is Bualoi, and in the North Indian Ocean, we're looking out next for Kiar. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 and subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find us on Facebook and Twitter under the same name if you'd like to get in touch on any of those mediums. The next Tropical Weather Bulletin will follow tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.